There's nothing more romantic than watching a couple gliding across the dance floor, whether it's the salsa, rumba, or tango, and makes for some of the most memorable date nights. Up next, we head over to Kamloops, where reporter Sam Numpson has found a great idea that will sweep you off your feet. Sam? Thanks, Marianne. You know, they say dating is all about passion, communication, and teamwork. And here in Kamloops, I have found the hands down best spot to spend some quality time with that special someone. And all you need is a pair of dancing shoes. What makes dancing such a good thing to do on a date night? It is the best thing to do, Sam, on a date night. Do you need to increase I, your social life? I actually, uh, I'm looking for a date. So I'm Are in the you? Right place. Yes. Okay, well, you're in the right place. Going out for a date, you want to spend some time together with a person in a personal and intimate way and give you a chance to get to know each other. Doing something together, learning something together is the best way to, to really get to know somebody. Here at Dance Discovery in Kamloops, whether it's a private lesson or a big group dance, spending a few hours learning some steps is the perfect date. Getting to know each other, finding out what makes you tick, breaking the ice, and of course, sharing a few laughs. People that dance together do often stay together, and they might start out as friends, but they develop a, a significant relationship because of it. And it gives them time to grow into that relationship without any pressures of any other thing. So they start coming to the lessons, and then they start coming to the dances, and then they're going, geez, I'm really enjoying this. And often the couples will say, oh, we went for dinner, and I go, hmm, I know what's going on, right? It's kind of fun. They start, they start spending more and more time together. Do you see the okay. difference? You want to be back on your heels, nor right on the front of your feet. Just sort of in that middle point where okay. you're... So you're moving on one, two, three, holding for four, moving five, six, seven, holding on eight. One, two, three, hold, five, six, seven, hold. One, two, three, hold, five, six, seven, hold. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, hold eight. Awesome, you got that really well done, okay. Just nailed it. Yeah, you nailed it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little bit of Cuban motion. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Good. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Bam. You're awesome. One, two, three. I'm awesome. Five, six, seven. What about dancing do you think makes it such a great uh, activity for a couple, for people looking to get to know each other? I think it puts a little bit of, um, uh, loosely said, romance back into it. A little bit of fantasy, I guess, is what I mean by, by romance. I think a everyone... Of fantasy, I a lot of fantasy. fantasy. Depends what you like. Yeah. <laughs> I think every woman out there wants her heroic, um, uh, chivalrous, Rhett Butler kind of guy that can yeah. sweep her off her feet around and, and, and uh, hopefully on the dance floor. My second wife said, yeah, I got her the day we did a, a, a merengue and you just run your hands, you're up here, right? You run right. your hands down there and she said, she just <laughs> like this, really just, you know, you hear about women fainting, yep. passing out, she said she was really close and went, wow, I had no idea that's what was happening. That's right? a big claim out there, you're saying you make women faint, that's quite big, <laughs> oh, to your dancing. She said to me, I had no idea, but she yep. said she was very close. You have to be totally focused on it. You can't be thinking of other things. You don't have time to think of other things. I mean, you're focused on the moment. Uh, you're listening to the music and what the music is saying. And a focus on each other. Yeah, of course. You're not sitting in movie theater texting and eating popcorn. You're <laughs> dancing, right? Yeah. 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 Who wouldn't want to be in his arms for an hour and a half? And I'm sure the same could be said <laughs> yeah, for that's her, right? Right? Right. Yeah. right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You've got to share time in a quality way, and what better way than to be doing something you both enjoy. That's it for now for Talk This. Don't forget to tell us what you think on Facebook and join the conversation on Twitter using hashtag Talk This. And while you're doing that, let's take a look at what's coming up on next week's show.
Thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marianne Ogle. We'll see you next time on Top This. But in case you're wondering, my favorite thing to do on a date is drink some bubbly. Cheers. Thank you.